I feel like um, it's another opportunity to show up at the park and prepare and, and find a way to win a ball game. Was it difficult to have? I guess yes and no. Uh, you know, you feel good uh, after game five and kind of want to roll into it, but also uh, get an extra day to regroup, regroup and recover and, and prepare for tonight. How much satisfaction is um, Try to figure out a way to do everything we can to, to win a ball game tonight. Cody Gonsolin had such a- I have a, a weird role, you know, um, I guess in the, in the division series, uh, sweeping the Padres kind of in a weird way, uh, you know, messed with his schedule. Cause I think, I think he was tabbed to pitch game four and then he had an extended layoff and then uses the opener and now the bullpen and whatnot. Um, so it's definitely been different from, for him and, uh, excited to have him back on full rest and, and taking the ball tonight with this opportunity. But, I mean, yeah, I, I think it's, it's nice to, show up every day and pretty much know where you're, you're hitting in the lineup for the most part. And uh, the guys that are interchanging and switching in and out kind of have a good idea of when they're going to be in there and when they're not going to be in there as well. So, um, you know, that's nice, nice to know. And I, I'm assuming you're referring to, uh, you know, like an 18 when it almost seemed like we had two different lineups running out there. So, um, I think the guys feel confident knowing that they're going to be in there every day. And, and it definitely helps, uh, you know, getting the at-bats underneath your belt, whether you're facing right or left, and, and then going the next day. Thank you. The Rays right now. And, um, you know, there's they're the ones in the other dugout. They're the team that we have to compete against. And they're the ones that we have to find a way to win a ball game against. So uh, they're the only team in the major leagues that, uh, we're concerned about other than ourselves, obviously. Next question from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Yeah, Justin, back. I think I talked about this before, and in a lot of ways, it's it's been more challenging, obviously, with the expanded uh, postseason and uh, the best of three wild card round, which uh, presents a lot of challenges that obviously weren't there before. Um, the 60 game short season, so uh, not as many guys. Um, you know, have as many at bats under their belt or innings under their belt. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of things that go into this that you can make an argument to say, you know, it might be even more difficult. But obviously, uh, we understand that it's a different season, and uh, that was one of the first things we talked about when we got back together. Was look, no matter how many games we play, um, no matter what the postseason looks like, uh, if there's a championship to be won, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go after that and, and uh, do everything in our power to bring it home. If, if this launch angle is that you have to hit the ball high in the air, and, and that's not something that I'm worried about. I, I'm trying not to hit ground balls. Uh, low line drives are, are count as air balls, and then uh, you can work your way up from there. So uh, everyone, when they talk about launch angle, talks about hitting the ball you know, a mile high in the air, and, and that's just not the case. I, uh, I talk more about matching my swing plane to the pitch plane and, you know, just trying to stay off the ground and um, everyone has their own interpretation of it or, or definition of it, but that's, that's mine. Next question from Tyler Kepner. Go ahead. Definitely not small. I'll tell you that. Um, we have hit some home runs, but uh, you, you definitely have to hit it um, <laughs> to, for it to get out of here. And uh, we have played a lot of games here and we are pretty familiar with it and, um, it's no, uh, Dodger stadium. It's not our home park. Um, but you know, so far we've done a pretty good job here. We got time for one more. One's excited, uh, for this opportunity, obviously, um, in this position that we are now, um, lots of messages and, uh, social media from fans, friends, family, um, you know, just letting us feel their support and, and letting us know that they're behind us all the way, even though. Um, we're out here in Texas, and, and a lot of them uh, aren't able to make the trip to, to support us in person. Thank you.